A Macon motel voluntarily closed its doors after state officials say flooding caused a health threat to the people there. Felicia Moore spoke to one of the displaced residents and also checked in with the state health department to find out more about what may happen next. Deanna Jones came to Macon recently for a fresh start. That start now washed away with Monday's floodwaters. When the flooding happened, nobody came and said anything to us. Uh, basically, people was just doing their regular thing. And around 4, 4.30, uh, the firemen and people came and told us that we have to go. She, her husband, and two kids and others had to evacuate the Economy Hotel on Pianona Avenue Monday. Now they're sheltering at Macon Bibbs Dolores Brooks Recreation Center. Well, last night I slept in my car with with me and my daughter because I don't, she don't, every time we go in there, she'll run around and all that. Um, it's been bad, terrible. All they had to do was give me my money back and we could take care of ourselves. She says she paid $600 up front for a place to stay and now she's worried about getting a refund. Management just keeps saying it's in process. Uh, one of the people called me yesterday on the phone and telling me that our money's in process, but we gave you cash. Carla Coley with the Georgia Department of Health says they checked out the hotel after getting a complaint Monday. There were uh, wet furnishings, wet mattresses. Um, I mean, it was very apparent that it had flooded. Dozens of people had to leave when the same property flooded in 2021. After this week's inspection, the state called the hotel a health threat and shut it down again. At the same time it was flooding, of course, the, the sewer system gets overwhelmed um, with stormwater infiltration. And there was a sewer manhole in the parking lot that was um, discharging sewage onto the surface of the ground. As the hotel works with the state on fixing the problems, Jones and others prepare for what's to come. In Macon, Kalisha Moore, 13 WAZ News. Now, Kalisha went to the Economy Hotel to ask about refunds. The hotel's area manager said they would not make any comment.